Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a pick a pile, timeless pick a pile reading for the healing energy sessions. Um, the question we have today is now that it's over, what do I do? So this is for those of you who may have ended something, a job, a relationship, whatever. But now that it's over, what do you do? Right? And um, I do have three piles here. So <clears throat> go ahead and pick which pile is, is basically calling out to you. Um, you can stop the video if you need more time. I would like to say, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. Okay? These readings, they may or may not resonate. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. So these are our three piles. Now that it's over, what do I do? So how do we move forward after something has ended, right? Um, at the end of the reading, I will pull oracle cards, of course, to get some extra advice. <clears throat> but each pile, whatever you choose, it should actually resonate with your situation and what happened. And how you can move forward will be used with these oracle cards, okay? That's how we're doing it. Now, the focus here is to actually get you to heal yourself from a cer your certain situation. You're not going to get any... Um, solution here. You're just going to get kind of triggers to help you think about what's going on in your life and how you can move forward in whatever situation you're in, how you can heal from whatever's happened, right? <clears throat> That's what we're trying to do here. All right, so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start with this pile number one right here. Pile number one is first. Okay, so here's pile number one, um, and the question is, now that it's over, what do I do, right? So let's find out what suggestions or what's going on here. Okay, so we first we have the eagle, all right? And the eagle represents spiritual enlightenment and transcendence. So <clears throat> it appears that whatever has happened, happened for you to go into this phase of your life that involves spiritual um, enlightenment and transcendence, you know, understanding things, moving forward and, and, and knowing that these things are spiritually guided. Perhaps you were not a spiritually inclined person before, but now you are maybe, right? Maybe you are coming into your true spiritual self, starting to, you know, tap into the subconscious and stuff like that, right? So let's see what happened. Maybe this story, this will tell us a story about what ha happened with you, okay? We have the Queen of Swords. We have uh, the Six of Cups. We have the Hanged Man. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Oysters, the Emperor, the Tower, the Emperor again. Seven of Rods and the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, you guys. A lot of a couple emperors here, right? So let me tell you what's going on here in the cards, okay? Um, we do have a three major arcanas, right? And it's funny because actually we have four. So somebody's you know, can't make a decision or can't move forward. And it's involving an emperor that somebody has actually brought that to an end, but the emperor is still there. Why is he still in the way? Right? Somebody's in the way here. So we have this queen of swords here, and that could be you holding that energy or somebody else. But the queen of swords, you know, I mean, <clears throat> she's, she's willing to, you know, receive any sort of, you know, information you have for her, but, but it better be some good information, you know, it better be something to her benefit, because if not, she'll cut you out, she'll cut you out of her life, and she will just move forward, so you could be dealing with a um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, right? We also have here 
the Six of Cups. So this person is somebody from your past, somebody that has had you just hanging in the balance there. And and, and, and and you know it's it's this hanging in the balance stuff is, is it's not it's not the business you know it really isn't it sucks and we have this five of swords and and here it is you know words being passed amongst two um, some deception and some lies you know there were there were problems here and this could have also involved the Queen of Cups. So there's also a Queen of Cups here that's interfering. And somebody, this Queen of Cups is interfering with somebody's new beginning. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, right? And that's, uh, that's water. That's water sign, right? Um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. So you could be dealing with two of those women, types of women. Or, or you could be one of these women. You know, or female energies. How about that? Because, you know, you could still be a male in this type of energy. So, in regards to this Queen of Swords right here, there was a message that came in in regards to her or someone else. And it was a, a message of financial security and stability, right? From somebody from the past. This person wasn't possibly the emperor, right? And the emperor came in with all these promises of stability to somebody from the past. But from that, somebody got left hanging in the balance. So there was just basically promises, right? Promises, promises, right? So somebody basically put an end to this situation. Didn't want to deal with it. Said, forget it. I'm good. You know? F you, pretty much, right? <clears throat> And, you know, this, this emperor, though, is still trying to fight, still trying to have issues with somebody, you know. They're, he's actually fighting to defend himself, I think, in a certain situation to somebody. So we have the emperor now, you know, this is, is a tower moment with this person. It came to an end. And now the emperor is fighting to defend himself to maybe possibly a queen of cups, Right? Trying to start a financial new beginning. Try, maybe he planted seeds with this person and now he's wanting to watch them grow. But he's having to fight to do it. Right? He's going to have to fight to see if he can. Because, you know, nothing is free. You got to put in the work. So now but it's, this person is realizing that he has to fight for what he wants. Right? So if that sounds like your story, <clears throat> then I will see you guys at the end for some advice, okay? Okay, so here's pile number two. And the question is, now that it's over, what do I do? Let's see what your story is first here, okay? So we have the bear, and the bear represents strength and introspection, okay? Um, so somebody could be uh, really a strong or firm in their beliefs, right? Uh, perhaps they are going through some sort of introspection, right? Some sort of, you know, new maybe uh, way of seeing things, right? So let's find out what's going on in your story, okay? So there has been a union or a, a bringing together of two, right? So Or somebody is waiting for that to happen, could be. We have the Nine of Swords. Let's just keep putting these cards out. I don't know why I felt like starting right off the bat, but somebody is maybe in a hurry here. All right. So we have the Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Four of Swords, Ten of Cups, The World, the Fool, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Empress. So yeah, you know, like I felt like I needed to start right away. So somebody is feeling like they need to do something quickly. That's the that's a, the total energy I'm getting right now for whoever chose pile number two. Like they're feeling like they need to do something quickly. What I don't know. Let's 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 find. Let's just slow it down. Okay, let's slow it down down a little bit. Let's see what's here first. We have um, one, two, we have three major arcanas here, okay? We have the world, the fool, and the empress. And how fitting that the world is here, and then we start over with the fool. 
Okay, that's coming to an end of a situation and starting an another one. So let's start from the beginning and let's see what's going on here for this person or for this story, <clears throat> right? So first of all, we have the two of uh the four of wands, right? And that's like the soulmate card coming together and wonderful joy, happiness, right? And, but somebody's waiting for this. Maybe somebody's waiting for that to happen. Okay. Um, yeah, somebody is waiting for this union or this thing to happen. But another person or, but that person is feeling bound to a situation stuck with um, mental issues, thinking, overthinking, um, just, just in their head about something, you know, just not able to move forward in a certain type of situation because they're feeling stuck. I don't know. I don't know why here they're feeling stuck. Like they can't move or they're waiting to move towards this union towards this, you know, wow. Hmm. So that could be you. Right. That could be you doing this, wanting to move towards something because maybe something is over and you're wanting to move back towards it. I don't know, because this is not moving forward. It's moving back. Right now we have the Ace of Cups here and this is a new emotional beginning. Right. This is a new beginning in love. But there is the two of Pentacles here. So there is another there's juggling going on here. And, you know, that could be somebody not feeling complete inside about an ending to a situation, right? So somebody's not feeling quite complete in this. They're feeling like something is unfinished because, and that's why there's juggling. Somebody wants to start new, but it's hard for them because they feel like there's something unfinished. So they're, they're harboring some sort of feelings or emotions. And what it's doing is it's making them stay in their head about something, right? They're in their head. They're stuck in their head about something that's, that has happened, right? Now, <clears throat> we have the four of swords. So yeah, there is, is some sort of pause or, 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 when it comes to this union, there is a pause here, the, a pause of thinking back, of, of, of maybe rethinking about what has happened, right? What has taken place? Because this person wants the Ten of Cups. Whoever is waiting for something still wants the Ten of Cups. But they're feeling bound, you know, to something from the past. But an ending is, is it has come. An ending has come. It's over. Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. Right? <clears throat> stop, stop tripping on that. Leave it alone. Let it go. Because that's how it is. It's just done. Right? It's done. There is no Ten of Cups. Don't look back at that. Because, you know, there was there was juggling or something going on there. But I do see here that there's a new journey that's going to take place right away, right after. Okay? So right after this ending, something brand new is going to start right away. And it's in regards to having this Ace of Pentacles energy right here. And that's financial abundance, you know, starting fresh, starting new, you know, financially secure, happy. And who that's going to be it with is the, is the Empress. So the Empress is right here. She's the one who brings in that financial security, right? She might be in her head about things that have happened, about juggling, right? Juggling and, and, and her money. She may have even started something with somebody and realized that there was juggling and now is just over it and wants to start new and fresh on her own. Right? <clears throat> Taking a fool's journey in another direction, even though she still looks back because possibly she's hurt. And that's a possibility, right? I mean, something comes to an end. You know how now that it's over, what do I do, right? So she's mourning, but she's still moving forward, 
still remembering the past and how it ended and, and possibly thinking about, you know, the time that was wasted, you know, with all this juggling going on about how she waited for this to happen. And this thing, it kept her bound possibly, right? But it, it has led her through all these trials and tribulations to bring her a, a new journey in financial security and stability, even though she had to learn this lesson in the past, right? She's stepping forward, but she's still looking back. So perhaps this was very hurtful. So if this sounds like your story, then um, yeah, I'll see you at the end and I'll have some advice there. And also, um, pile number three is next. Pile number three is next. All right, so here is pile number three. Okay, um, let's go ahead and find out now that it's over, what do I do? What do I do, right? All right, so we have the T-Rex, you know, and this is the, the, like the stupidest one, I feel like, in the totem animals uh, stones. I'm still short a few. I still need like, a, you know, and I, I need a turtle. I need a wolf, wolf paw orca. I need a couple of them. If you all know where to get any, let me know. I would like those stones, you know. Um, yeah, I, I know I need a P.O. box so I can receive stuff, but I just haven't... Uh, haven't done that yet, but maybe I'll maybe I'll do that next month. You know, I keep on holding back on stuff, but you know, like even the cards, the ordering of the cards, whatever. All right, let's get started here, though. Let's get started. Let's find out now that it's over. What do I do? Right? We have the T Rex here, and this is like somebody who's like a tyrant to me. That's what I feel that that's me. That that it, that means the lizard king, the king of the tyrants, the one who is just mean as fuck all the time. Can you see it? There we go. There's a reflection. You can see it's a T Rex, right? And, and, you know, we weren't even alive during the T-Rex time. So this is why I don't understand why this one is being used. But let's go ahead and find out what the story is here. All right. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the King of Cups. We have the Empress. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups. The Two of Swords. The Chariot, the Seven of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. All right? So that's what we have. Let me think here. Let me think what's going on, all right? Okay. We have two major arcanas. We have the Chariot and the Empress. Empress is right over that card. She is going on, she is moving forward somehow. She's she's going to jump on the chariot and move away from the situation. Definitely, whatever's happening here. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what this story is, okay? <clears throat> For those of you who chose pile number three. Something has been a burden to somebody, and I'm thinking it's the Empress, right? There has been a person or a King of Cups energy that has just been a damn burden, Right, a burden, and she's realized it. Um, she could be moving towards a king of pentacles, and this is possibly the person that she will be in union with, all right? Whoever this is. If you are watching and you are the king of cups, this is what's going to happen to the empress. If you are the king, uh, the, if you are the empress and you're dealing with the king of cups, this is what's going to happen with you. You know, we'll see what happens with this King of Cups in a, in a minute, okay? So somebody's been a burden. It's been this, it's this King of Cups. He's a burden, right? But you meet, from this burden, you meet a King of Pentacles, right? And this is the person that, that possibly you will be shacked up with. This is the Union card. Um, King of Pentacles is, um, uh, what is it? Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So they could have that in their chart. That is the earth signs, right? So you could be shacking up with an earth sign. Um, you, 
you do see this person in your future or you have, you know, seen the big picture in regards to this person, right? And you're 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 thinking like if that's really the choice that you, you know, want to make. Perhaps you see two choices when you think of this person or perhaps you are thinking between these two choices, right? This King of Cups and this King of Pentacles. So the Empress is thinking that, right? Between these two, who will have the union, right? Will it be the person from the past or will it be a person for the future? So I'm thinking this is a new person that's going to come into the Empress's life, a brand spanking new person, right? <clears throat> now, it seemed that there was some walking away from a situation. Why? Because it was too much of a friggin' burden. It was just too much of a burden. Somebody had to make a choice. And they made their choice. And their choice led to pushing, actually, the Empress to move forward. Whatever this King of Cups did, whatever choice he made, that launched the Empress to move forward that like catapulted her to move forward like that's all i needed to know boom start the race you know like she's bolting out of there you know what i'm saying and and this person could have seen her as, as a, some sort of future of something i don't know what i don't know what but it seems that there is a King of Pentacles, an earth sign waiting for this empress to head her way. She's kind of sitting forward, not really pointed in any direction right now, right? She's kind of in a, in a limbo at the moment, right? And, and, and she's ready to, maybe she's the one sitting on that train, but the train hasn't moved yet, right? She, she, she got on the train and she hasn't moved yet, right? And it could be now, whoever this King of Pentacles is, who's in the in the forefront here, they're going to be seen as a burden, or they are going to be burdensome, or they are. There is some deception at hand here, right? And that deception could be involving the Two of Cups. Okay, so this is what I'm feeling, right? Um. I'm sorry, you guys. Can you hold on for a sec? Okay, you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's people moving in next door. Trip out. Okay, that's cool. Looks like a little family there. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with the reading, but I apparently it does. I don't, I don't know, but let's keep moving, right? So I see the Empress is ready to get on this chariot ride and move forward. She's ready to get the hell out of there, right? But the train has not moved yet. And, and, and while she's waiting, somebody's watching her. Somebody is freaking watching her. Like, I don't know why. Maybe they're watching her or watching, waiting for this deception to happen to her um, in regards to this King of Pentacles, right? This earth sign. And this earth sign may make a promise of love and all that to her. And maybe even bring in a message of love, right? Darn. I really wish I could pull more cards on this one. This one's kind of a cool or trippy, not cool, but trippy, you know, one. It's like, it's not done yet. You know what I mean? Whatever is happening here on the third pile is not done yet. And somebody is watching for something to happen. Somebody knows something's going to happen in regards to deception, Somebody getting away with something. They are going to see this. They or they know this is in the future, possibly, of this empress or a person who needs to make a choice between two. And 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 whoever whoever is involved here is the person who actually walked away from this situation. So that is the empress. Or, oh, shoot. Or possibly the Empress may have ended something, but might not have ended it properly. 
like as in never again, like just expressing that, right? Maybe ne not expressing that and just basically like doing what she always does, like a type of get out, but didn't really stress that this is over and good done forever. This could be a possibility too, especially if she's dealing with a younger person because that younger person does not understand the meaning of, you know, that's good, it's over. You know what I'm saying? So somebody here is a little bit immature, can't make their mind up, right? <clears throat> Somebody's going to come into this queen of uh, uh, this empress's life and is going to uh, witness some sort of deception, right? Something having to do with uh, this four of wands and the giving of emotion between two. So somebody might be married, king of pentacles, might be a king of pentacles might be trying to enter her life but and, and deceive right and, and this could be from lies not telling the truth right uh, and it has to do with the four of wands and giving of emotion so somebody here might be married that's going to come in next so keep your eye out for that if you are the empress uh, uh, keep your eye out for somebody uh, trying to bring choices to you and, and, and doing it in the form of emotion like loving words or whatever so be on the lookout for a sly person who is a good talker you know what I'm saying and that could be this king of pentacles it could also be that this king of pentacles may be in a situation but wants to add you to it and you know I don't know how that's going to work out, right? I don't know. So, if this sounds like your story, right, or close to it, um, then I'll see you guys at the end for some advice. Because it's apparent that this story is not over, so we'd have to do another pick a card in the future. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end. Okay, so we made it to the end here. And I do have the Buddha Wisdom uh, Shakti Power card. And um, gosh, my phone is getting really active all of a sudden. But, you know, you guys are more important right now, okay? Um, <clears throat> I do have the book right here because you guys know, or if you are returning, you know that I like to read from the book because it's a very enlightening book, very, very much so. I also have the Surrender cards, all right? Uh, see what we may need to surrender in our situation or you know so we're just trying to get some ideas about our own healing that's what we're doing right now okay we're not I'm not this is not like the answer to your problem this is just suggestions to help you try to figure out your own issue right because nobody's issues the same you know what I'm saying we could have both been through a rough childhood but it's never gonna be exactly the same right Something may have happened in a different way. And this is why it's so hard to find healers, right? Because, uh, and, and you end up wasting a lot of money and in the end you figure it all out yourself, right? Because we have the power of healing ourselves. We just don't realize it until later, until, you know, thousands of dollars later, you know? And, and that sucks, you know? And, and I've been blessed to, to go through some sort of processes of healing and, and not have to pay because of my, my military background. But I did learn, and, and, and I didn't learn from, from talking to those people. You know, I learned um, a lot of terms and procedures, a lot of things having to do with psychology because I, I'm that kind of person, right? I like to read. I like to delve deep. And, and I love to, I, I'm like a sponge. I love information. I want it to come into me at all times, you know? I, I just want to be, I want to be an information magnet. And that, that's, that's basically what I am, you know? I just love to read and find out shit, right? Because it helps me with my healing and understanding and why things go the way they go, right? Like I'm self-taught here. I'm self-taught with the tarot. And I am somebody who has always been, I believe in science, not believing in any kind of spirituality of any sort, but look where I'm at now, right? Because something has happened in my life to trigger me to move in this direction. And even though I'm still a skeptic, still, 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 because I need to see it to believe it, I've come to the realization that please don't show yourself to me, <laughs> you know, because of the, you know, because I have um, had... Um, experience with mediumship and and I don't you know I don't want to see it because I'm frightened but hey I'm just telling you all the truth <laughs>
I haven't experienced this in my life and didn't grow up knowing anything about this. And then when it comes to you all of a sudden, you're like, oh my God, what the hell? You know, what? You know, it's very frightening. <laughs> but thank goodness it hasn't happened for a few months. And I, I do think of it now and then, like hoping that, that things aren't going to come. Well, you know what? I think something did try to come the other night. And, and for some reason, I could not... I could not accept the message because there was another entity here, right? Another person that was, their their energy field was preventing me from actually seeing or, or accepting a message from whoever this was. Because I, I couldn't sleep that night and, and, and the guest was just snoring so friggin' loud. I could, it, it was like an echo through the house. I just couldn't sleep. But then I started feeling strange because I, I guess I because like, you know how you fall asleep and you wake up and you don't realize, oh, you've been asleep. You did sleep for like three hours. But then I got up at that time, you know, that three o'clock. And then all this shit started coming into my head. I started hearing things around the house, started getting up, looking, what the hell is that? Because, I mean, I'm not afraid to go look, you know, I got a machete right here. <laughs> I don't think I'll have, ever have to go that far, but I do believe that there are. You know, I, I, I have spirit guides and I do have spirits that try to um, infiltrate my spirit guides to get to me, but they just, my spirit guides are strong. I know you guys might think, oh man, she's so crazy, but you know, I ain't. My spirit guides are strong and I would never, you know, because I'm a believing in science person, I would never say that in the past, but if I haven't said it in a while to my spirit guides, I am grateful to have you in my life, and thank you for all the help that you've given me. Make sure you do that if you know that you have spirit guides. Make sure you let them know. Say it out loud. Don't even think it. Just say it. <clears throat> you don't have to give a shit what anyone thinks. You know? I'm, I'm feeling like right here, you guys. This is what we need to surrender. Okay. So next, let me just set this right here. Next we have the Buddha Wisdom Shakti. Right. We're just we're asking Buddha for some wisdom on this situation in regards to how now that it's over, what do I do, right? Did I even shuffle the last time for this one? I, I feel like I didn't, but you know what? I shuffled the cards beforehand, and I guess Spirit didn't want me to shuffle it at that time, because I feel like I didn't. And I don't I don't really re-listen to these videos until later, later, so I feel like I need to, because even though I do pick the cards and all that, I can't, you know, I can't remember everything, but I want time to pass, so I can't remember. So when I do go in, and I, I, I have a, um, I pick my pile accordingly to what I think because I don't remember there's so many pick a piles and and these are for me too these are for me too but I let time and you know what to be honest with you I haven't listened to one of my own pick a piles since I started so I guess maybe now it's time for me to start listening and choosing piles and seeing how how things are because I can't remember I can't remember them maybe I'll go into the 2019 videos because I, I don't I haven't even listened to those Maybe y'all should too. You know, they're all timeless, you guys. So, all right. So that, I just shuffled that. Let's find out what, what kind of advice we have from from Buddha. Oh, I almost flipped it. So that's those are those. Okay. All right. Put the book. Oh, I'm gonna carry. Put the book right here next to me. All right. <clears throat> so this is the advice we have for whoever's watching this video. Maybe these piles didn't resonate with you, or maybe you picked one that didn't resonate and then you heard another one and it did resonate. Because these were some really different stories, right? Sometimes they're similar, but these actually were very different. Okay, so you might, you know, hey, listen to all of them if you feel like it. Sometimes I do that just because I'm doing something, cleaning the house, whatever, I'll, I'll have a video on. And, and I'll hear all of them, you know, and, and usually it's the one that I, that get, grabs my attention that I'll listen to it because sometimes it, I'm just, um, it's playing, but I'm not really listening. I'm doing, but one of them might come on and I'm what, what something will trigger me to hear 
And that was probably my pile, you know, that spirit saying, hey, pay attention, right? <laughs> I know I got weird ways of thinking of things, but I'm telling you, everything is a sign. Everything is a sign. What we need to surrender, surrender to non-action. Okay, so some of you may have, now that it's over, what do I do, right? So maybe you're in a limbo right now. You're trying to figure out what that next step is. And, you know, if something has just ended, yeah, you know. But it's time to also focus on trying to gather or pick up the pieces so you can move forward. So this is this is part of the action you need to take after the end of a situation, right? Perhaps you need to cleanse yourself, take a cleansing bath, or cleanse your home, right? Cleanse the energy of all whatever has passed. Clean out the closets. Um, whatever you need to do to cleanse whatever past energies were with you, you need to cleanse, sage, Burn candles uh, that are involve only good things. If you're going to burn a colored candle, burn it for its meaning, like a purple candle, for example, is to, you know, you can conjure the spirits, you know, conjure them, the nice ones. Come to me and send me your messages, something like that. Never against anyone. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, never light a candle through hatred for another person. Never. That is not nice. And that is you just being unhealed and spiteful. And I will let you know that whatever negativity you do with any candle magic, that is definitely going to come back to you. It will come back to you somehow. So do not do that. Whenever you light candles, you light them for purity, for goodness, for happiness, for joy. And, and if you're going to put anybody else in that candle, light that candle in regards to, I hope this person has joy. I hope this person finds love. I hope this person heals. This is the type of candle lighting that should happen when you light candles for another person. I'm lighting this candle for prosperity for my friend, so-and-so. I'm praying for my friends, quick recovery for so-and-so. That's the type of stuff you want to do. The universe hears this, and the universe abides as best they can. As best they can. Right? Because we do have to understand that when people also leave the world, they leave the world leaving some sort of message that can has actually change the world like they are that's the sacrifice their soul is making to pass on because it was their time to move up to that point and then the lesson will come out of that ending you know so they're just transcending you know they're not they're not gone forever they're not i know you all think that a lot of people do but they're not they're transcending to the next you know lesson maybe they might be reborn a, a, a child, and a, a baby, and, and bring these messages from past into this new love, this new life, whatever, right? So, you know, and when people pass, I don't feel as hurt. I, I miss them in the 3D. Yeah, of course I do. I miss them. But I understand that that was a lesson for a big lesson, when somebody passes, that is a supersized lesson. That's not just a little side lesson. That is a major lesson for a lot of people because passing and transcending like that is a very gnarly thing. Okay, this is a big, big lesson. And somebody needed to learn from it. I, I had something like that happen to me. It was a huge lesson huge lesson but i understand what the lesson was now i understand it and though i miss that person i know that person is around me and i am grateful that that person is around me okay so surrender to non-action so you're stuck you don't know what to do time to cleanse your cleanse your space because once you have your, your space cleansed i think you're going to feel more motivated to do things right okay i got this done what am I going to, you know what, I'm just going to get up and get out because 
it's it's strange because I'm feeling like with the state I'm in, I think it's supposed to be really snowy right now. And it's not. It's been sunny like every day. And even yesterday, I went out into the backyard and I felt the warmth of the sun on my skin. That was a beautiful feeling, right? And, you know, things like that keep us moving forward. Let's read this. It says, now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. Okay, so there you have it. Yeah. Perhaps you are waiting for something. Okay, then there's no action going on with it. So, but like I said, this will keep, the things I said for you to do will keep you busy. You know, cleansing your space, cleaning up, saging. That keeps your mind off of stuff, right? So perhaps you're in non-action because you don't know what to do. Well, how about cleansing your space? Right? How about cleansing your space, making everything fresh and new, vacuum, um, wipe down dust, whatever, and then burn some sage around the house. You know, burn it in the counterclockwise. This is what I've always known. I don't know how I learned that or where, but it was been very many years. But I do understand that when you do walk around the house with the sage, you burn it in a counterclockwise way. Okay. <clears throat> this is what gets rid of the negative energies, right? I think it's like, you know, how the, the, the signs of the zodiac, when you read the houses, it's in a counterclockwise way. Maybe it has to do with that. I don't know, right? All I know is you burn in a counterclockwise way, and that helps with the cleansing. And if you haven't done it all, maybe you get interrupted because you got to run to the store, you got to do this, you got to do that. Just come back and continue, you know, at least do the staging part. So while you're gone, that stagnant energy doesn't sit. The stage is doing its work to clean up the space, whatever. And, you know, like the card says, if you're wanting to take action in a certain situation, don't just leave it. Because I will also say this is during retrograde. If you're watching this during the Mercury retrograde, you don't want to make any major decisions right now. It happens to be, you know, even though this is timeless, I'll tell you the date, it's 2-22-2020, and that is the 10th day, the end of a cycle, but the 10th day is also the first day, start of a new cycle. So just let whatever have, has happened go. Now that it's over, what do I do? You let it go. You let it go, and you move on with your life. Now is the time to be still, not act, right? Maybe you have some thinking to do. Maybe you need to still understand why things happen the way they did, right? <clears throat> that could be it too. But just know that it's all a lesson of learning in our life. Something in our childhood is, is linked to this situation that has just happened. So um, whatever has happened to you, you've experienced some sort of trauma involving that in your childhood, and that's why you're bringing it into your adulthood. And this is for you to see what that problem was and to actually understand why that happened, why it happened to you, and how you can move forward, right? Which is do a little research, right? <clears throat> Me, this question just came out of nowhere. And I thought, you know, because when I do the healing energy sessions, I do it for me, too, because it means that I, I'm, I'm kind of lost somewhere and I, I, I'm trying to find the key to open that door. So if you're here this far watching this, you know, I'm trying to talk us into understanding what's going on with us. Right. Not just you guys, us, me, too. So, yeah. So basically, we have to just non-action, you guys, just just sage and do things that you like to do, you know, uh, but but clean the space because it's during this retrograde, there's a lot of negative energies flowing around and, and do not make a choice during this time. See, now is the time to be still and not act. OK, yes. Don't make any choices during this retrograde. I think it ends on March 10th. So just for for safety reasons, start whatever you want to start on March 11th. I'm going to do that just to be on the safe side because I was feeling residual of this Mercury retrograde before it actually happened. So you want to be free of all that energy, right? Okay, you guys, let's move on. Practicing Chode. Extend your awareness to the energetic edges or boundaries of the universe. 
Okay, practicing chode. This is the number 28 card, eight and two, reduced to nine. So somebody's close to figuring something out, right? Maybe this is why you don't take action because during some time, you're going to figure this out during your non-action time, you know? Maybe, maybe you, you, you're feeling tired to sleep more. A lot of people, you know, don't want to think of shit, so what do they, they, they just, they, they go to sleep, sleep it off, you know? And, and, and that could be good, especially if you have very vivid dreams. Because some people don't realize when they go to sleep, they want to sleep it off. They're actually not. They're actually working with their subconscious to heal this problem, to find out the answers. And this is why your dreams are so important right now, right? Um, I will say there's one thing that I know that worked for me. might not work for you, but I'm going to put it out there. Before I go to sleep at night, if I want to remember my dreams, or I feel like something significant should happen. And I haven't done it in a while, so I'm going to do it tonight. Is I ask Arch Archangel Michael to please let me see vivid dreams. Please prevent any infiltration of any sort in my dreams. You know? So that means like if I do have a dream, no outside entities or sources are going to infiltrate and try to put anything negative in there or try to block the dream from coming true, right? And I say that shit aloud. I don't care who's listening, I don't care. Because I feel if I say it out loud, it will I will be able to receive that message better instead of in my mind, even though, you know, God knows all. Our inner God he knows all. You can think it, but I prefer to speak it out because I mean it. You know what I'm saying? So we have practicing cho. Let's go ahead and read what that says. Because I'm a little look. It says, extend your awareness to energetic edges. Extend your awareness to energetic edges. So maybe there's some outside sources that are very positively energized and there is something maybe you're not seeing or boundaries of the universe. Extend your awareness to boundaries of the universe. Extend your awareness to energetic edges. So the universe has boundaries too, you know, and you can only go so far with those boundaries. There is a boundary. There is a stopping point. And you, you're, you're needing to see these edges that are coming towards you. Don't, don't, don't cross them because that's not the way you're supposed to go. You know, the, the universe will send you on a clear path, I think. You know, and this is just what's coming to mind right now. This is my intuit intuition speaking to you through these words. Um, I'm feeling like, <clears throat> you know, you need to, you know, it says, extend your awareness to energetic edges. That's one way of stating it. The next way of saying it is extend your awareness to boundaries of the universe. Okay, so there are boundaries. Whatever, wherever you're going, you got to set your own boundaries, and you got to you got to respect the boundaries of others, right? But there are energetic edges that you need to go towards in order to fulfill possibly these boundaries, right? Let's let's read what it says. <clears throat> Practicing chode, and so like I said, eight and two and is ten. You guys, that's that's the end of a cycle. You know, today is. 2 22 2020 that's a 10 day and a one day two and eight right here that's 10 it reduces down to one do you see how the synchronicities work here it's really crazy you guys it's really crazy okay practicing showed a practitioner sits down to her sadhana playing her drum she becomes lulled into another state eyes closed she forgets herself and her mind and transported to another realm she feel very Excuse me. She visualizes dancing skeletons and a fence of flames. Vast words and expansive light fills the sky full of gods and goddesses, huge as mountains. Their many hands hold each, uh, each hold and implement with a world of meaning unto itself. Streams of offering 
flow from cups. Ghostly spirits show up in the shadows. Millions of dakinis, like flickering flames, fill the air. The practitioner opens herself up to the universe and asks to connect to the energies of the other side, of what her mind can understand. She steadies herself in the midst of the fierce ones, thunder and snarls, or, if they are sweet, tries to keep her seat. It's equally difficult to look into brilliant eyes full of so much love that they melt your heart. Holding steady, she keeps a theme in her mind, a wish for healing illness, to grow as a person, or maybe just to understand. Before civilization invented the idea of going to school and getting diplomas, the Buddhists figured out another way to prepare for life. Meditation, visualization, pu pujas, or prayers are a little like going to college. They are advanced study for the mind and preparation for further work. All the visualizations and texts to be memorized are for the purpose of training the mind to become steady and strong. After this stage, the real training begins. <clears throat> okay, so this is what I got from that. You guys may have gotten something else, but this is what I have gotten from this. What's going on here is, you know, now that it's over, what do I do? You know, there's an order of things. What has just passed that has ended today? Okay, it could have ended a couple days ago. It could have end, it could end in a few days. But whenever you watch this is when it, it ends, and it ends today. And what this what's happening here is is you are to know that you need to move forward now. Do not, you know, reminisce on the past unless it's something that. You need to reminisce because maybe you're speaking about it to help others not become bound in that situation. But you are moving forward. And the universe is telling you, or Buddha is telling you, don't look back. That is a lesson learned. All right? If something is meant for you, they will return. And if they return to you, not exactly the way you like it, because you have set boundaries for yourself or whatnot. You need to be strong enough to let that go. No matter how much it hurts, you have to be strong enough to let that go because this is the time to end it. This is the time to end whatever it is that's been holding you back. And I think whatever is over with you and, and in your life, it's over. Don't dwell too much longer on it because you're prosperity will happen. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. Something's going to happen where somebody's going to come to you and bring enlightenment and sunshine and happiness to your life. And if you still, still sit in what has happened in the past, I know it's hard to look forward. I know. One of the piles there had somebody moving forward, but they kept looking back. Stop it. Stop it. Maybe you have an, I'm just, I'm just throwing this out there, but maybe somebody out there has an issue with letting go. Right? Maybe somebody has, let me see if I can figure out other ones, you know, because one of these could be somebody's out there, you know. Um, if you know of anything, please comment below. I'm always asking you guys to comment below on these because if you know something that might be going on, comment below so our readers or our viewers can see them because we are all about healing here, you guys. You know, so anything that you might have gone through, put it down there. Somebody might read that and understand their own situation. I'm begging you. I'm doing this because I want to heal the world we live in right now. I want to heal people of their past tragedies and traumas so we can all move forward positively and we can raise the vibration of the earth. This is why I do this, you guys. We are all intertwined and we all need to work together to get these messages out for those who are hurting, who need help with their traumas to heal themselves because we heal ourselves, right? And we heal ourselves through the energy of others. You know, I'm putting this out. This is my energy to you to start your healing, to help you to understand, right? So what this was saying here, though, is 
practicing chode. There is, so, like I said earlier in the readings, there's something to do with the meditation and dreams. Something is trying, your, your spirit guides, your, yours, even though you might think you don't have them, okay? Whatever, whatever. But your spirit guides are trying to communicate to you, I think, through your dreams to heal you of insecurities and fears, whether and also doing this through meditation. Okay, because I know there's a bunch of you out there that, that may be skeptical, just like me, dude. I am still skeptical about all this. But I don't know where all these words are coming out from me. You know, they're coming. And, and, it's, and, it's, and I'm supposed to tell them to you guys. You know? It's like, it's almost like I do the tarot just to get to this end part so we can talk about it. So I can help you to understand what I'm going through, what others can be going through, and what you might be going through. And maybe you are. Maybe you're not. Maybe you have um, issues with letting go. Maybe you have issues with codependency. <clears throat> maybe you have an addiction to uh, something, right? But it's time to put whatever that is to an end. Especially like right now, the way the way the moon is, the way the years, you know, this is the year of the number four. So if you have a life path number four, this is your year to thrive. I'll be straight with you guys. This is my year to thrive. I'm a four life path. And I just saw five, 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 five. Yeah. And I'm ready for change. I'm ready. You know, um, Maybe some of you guys don't know how to get those numbers. Maybe, I'm, maybe I'll do a video or something to help you see how you can do it for yourself. You know, because you do want to keep that shit private. You don't want everybody to know your business because some people actually do this. They don't tell you and they find out about you. And then they try to step in the way of your abundance because people are haters like that. So, you know, maybe I'm going to teach some, you guys how to figure out your life path or whatever. Okay. Um, just to keep you guys safe. Um, I'll put it in the healing energy sessions, okay? Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so you need to you need to go within uh, to find some of these answers. Meditation and your sleep. Put a dream journal next to you, or even just a piece of paper and a and a uh, cute an index card like this, you know, just a friggin' index card, right? And a and a pen. Just put it there and, and write it. And and you know, I don't mean to make anybody feel foolish. I really don't. But say it. Archangel Michael, I want to have clear, vivid dreams tonight. Please allow me to have these dreams and to understand these dreams. And please prevent any infiltration of negative energies to come into my thoughts and dreams while I'm experiencing this, right? That's just something I do. Maybe you guys think I'm foolish, but hey, candle went out. I spoke until the candle went out, you know. But I do, I do have two candles still burning over here on the side, you know. Maybe that's my sign to hurry up, okay? All right, so <clears throat> that's something that you can do to help you to realize your dreams because maybe you don't know what to do because you could be an introvert. I'm an introvert. I like to be home and do things at home, right? I do force myself out to go and speak with the outside world. I do have some couple new friends, and I do include them. And, and they're, a little, they're older than me, but that's okay because I enjoy the company of older people because you learn – their views on things, you know what I mean? Um, I'm just like, I want to be that, um, that information sponge so I can bring you guys actually good information that I find out too, right? That's what we're here for, to help each other. I want to help you guys. That's it, basically. So record those dreams. Um, now that it's over, what do I do? Don't do anything right now. Just relax, you know, clean your space. That's what, that's what the universe is telling you to. Uh, don't take any action for now. Uh, maybe you might have to not take any action until the retrograde's over. Maybe that's why you know, there's no need to take action, right? So something is over. Maybe you can sit back and realize what has happened. Write down the pros and the cons of what has happened and how you won't do these things again, right? You can do that. Um, those are things. You can also, um, maybe you haven't had any... Um, clarity on a situation you're 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 not feeling complete with this the actions you can write a le letter and of forgiveness or or a letter forgiving yourself for putting yourself through this garbage 
and then you can burn it and, and let it go that way. There's a number of things you can do. You know what it is? Is it, Think of something that will help you to get over something. It, it should be done in writing. And however you want to do it, you know, everybody, oh, this is the procedure to do this. This is, no, the procedure to do something is the way you want to do it, how you feel comfortable with it and how it ends and how much energy you put into it. That's the secret, the energy. Not like you got to put a circle of flowers and draw a pentagram, none of that shit. No, no. A real manifester knows that it's all energy. So no matter how you do it, no matter what you do, as long as you are wholeheartedly into this process of you believing or letting something go, it will happen for you. You don't have to be a, have a special book of magic. No, because you are magic in itself. And that's what people don't realize because they doubt. You know what? If you're here, you're meant to listen to this. You are meant to know that you need to let go of doubt. That's one of the things. That's one of the things that help you heal. You are a doubtful person. Okay, maybe codependent, maybe doubtful, maybe drug addiction. What else did we come up with? Um, <clears throat> just codependency, right? But the one I'm feeling now, for some of you, is doubt. You are doubting yourself. That is another thing that's coming in. And it's coming in stronger than all the other things. Swear. It's coming in stronger than all those other four possibilities. It's the doubt thing. You have somewhere seed, deep-seated inside you that has been sitting there all your life concern, concerning doubt. And what I think is you have doubt, possibly, you know, look it up. I'm not the answer to everything, okay? You have doubt because somebody put that doubt there right? <clears throat> Maybe somebody has made you a lot of promises in your life and they, they broke them. They broke their promises, whatever. So now you're doubting everyone because no one has kept their word with you really, right? No one has actually followed through with whatever, right? Like almost like you're feeling like everyone's a liar. You could be feeling that too. Like every, you don't believe anybody, whatever they say, but you know, not everybody is like that, right? Not everybody is like that because I mean, I'll tell you what, I'm not like that because, um, what's wrong with telling the truth? It's, it's, it can be just as bad as lying, but you need the balance. Tell the truth, you know? If you're going to tell a lie, only tell a lie like maybe a little white lie. Like, do you like the color of these jeans? But you know that this person loves the color of those jeans and you hate them and they're so happy to wear them. Uh, you can say something like, yeah, they're all right. <laughs> so not saying like, oh my God, I can't stand it. But it, look, it makes that person happy. And you're not really hurting anyone. You're not really hurting anyone. Or maybe something that might hurt someone is... Um, I don't love you anymore, and maybe you really do love them. And that person gets extremely hurt from that comment because some people just say things out of weird emotions, right? I used to have a partner and I told them that I knew that I had anger issues. Like I have come to that conclusion, I know, right? And that's what's helping me with my healing to try and calm me down is knowing that I have anger issues, okay? And I need to channel those in a different way. And <clears throat> when it, I, I know I, I've told a, a partner in the past, you know, I say I can say some really mean, harsh, and nasty things. Do not take them to heart because I may be going through a moment, right? The problem is, is they don't remember I say that and they take it to heart. They take it to heart, right? And then that's how things end. Or people start perceiving you differently. Because you let that monster out. It's like it, it, you needed to blow up and leave that, that monster out. But that's all it was. You just needed to blow up and, and let it out. But you did it at the expense of 
saying these things to another person and possibly a person that you love very much, right? You just blew up without control because it just, it, you were at the, the edge of that cliff. You just could not hold it in, right? And then later on, you end up having to go back and apologize. I'm sorry, you know, this, that, and the other. And then you say, remember I told you, don't listen to these things I'm saying. It's just me spewing anger, right? And then some of them will say, oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, okay, uh, yeah, it's cool, it's cool, we're, we're good. But then there's those others that have been, got so traumatized and hurt by those words that they're like, yeah, okay, but then they never speak to you again, right? And to be quite honest with you, for those people that say it's okay and then they don't speak to you again, for those people, they were meant to hear that spewing. They were meant to be put down or dragged through the mud because they are harboring something that they can't handle and instead of those other people that said, oh, yeah, 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 we're cool. Because that person is healed from whatever the issue is, they can let that go. But the person who can't let it go is the person that needs healing, right? The person that can accept the apology and move on, that person is healed. The person who cannot accept what was said, that person needs healing, right? See how the synchronization of the universe works? This is how it works. We all meet somebody for a reason. We all go through experiences for a reason. And some of us, we don't even know it. We could be the nicest person in the world, but bring bring in showers and thunder to someone's life and not even realize it and, and move on. And we're not going to get karma for that because it wasn't intentional, but, but like something could happen that you do and it breaks somebody, it breaks their, their, their walls down. And you don't even know you did that. You know, you don't even know because everybody thinks differently. Everybody perceives differently. Wow, you guys. And I, I feel like I have so much more to say, but I'm just going to end it right there. Um, my phone's going crazy. I don't know. You guys are more important, but I'm, th I'm almost thinking that I, I need to bring out another pick a card. I just have to think of a good question in terms of, you know, our healing process. If you guys have any questions that maybe you're feeling weird about something that's happening with you and you don't understand why, please comment below. It's hard to think of questions. It really is. So I could use some help, you guys. If we're all trying to work together, let's work together. You know, subscribe on these, share these, because whoever you share it with might have an idea for us and our healing. We need that. Totally. Okay. And I'm just the first step in the healing. You guys are probably the second step. Yeah, that's what it is. You guys are the st second step in all of our healing by sharing. Because I need questions. I need other people's outlook. So do you guys. That's how I come up with these, right? It took me a long time to come up with something like this. I haven't done a healing energy session reading for a long time. So you guys, if you're determined to heal, help me out here. Share these videos. Give me your question. If you have a question and it's not in the, the, the feed already that I have, let's do it. Let's do it. I'll do the reading for that. Let's heal ourselves. Okay, you guys? All right, you guys, I'm going to end it there. Okay. But um, yeah, you know, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. I love you guys. That's why I'm doing this. I friggin' love you guys. Understand that. No matter all the shit I say and whatever, I, I love you guys. And that's it. And that's all. All right? My name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I will talk to you guys next time for sure. Bye.